in the aftermath of Lewis Hamilton announcing that he's leaving Mercedes after 10 years at the team for Ferrari in 2025, there have been a bunch of names being considered as potential replacements for Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes. Who will partner George Russell in 2025? There's a lot of names. Alex Albon is one of them. Kimi Antonelli is one of them. Carlos Sainz is also considered as one of the options. Valtteri Bottas has been considered as one an option. But there's two names that are considered and which are, honestly, they make sense in their own right. But one is a little bit more out there than the other. We'll start off with the vi the person that you guys saw this thumbnail for and you clicked on this video for. Sebastian Vettel, the German four-time world champion with 53 wins and a whole bunch of podiums. Coming in to this, back into the sport after a year out. Uh, two years out at this point. Because let's not forget, he retired in 2022, where we got Fernando Alonso throwing the whole paddock for a loop for a bit by going into Aston Martin, taking a spot. So why would Sebastian Vettel come back? Because he craves Formula One. That's I think, will be the biggest reason, but also because he is still an advocate for sustainability and 2030 is right around the corner. And also to prove to people that age is no longer an issue in Formula One. Fernando Alonso did in 2021 when he returned after a few years away from Formula One. Kimi Raikkonen did it slightly. And we're seeing more and more drivers getting older in the sport and still performing at the highest level. Lewis Hamilton is a testimony to that. Fernando Alonso is absolutely a testimony to that. He is a gold poster child of the old guard still performing at the highest level and being healthy enough to perform at that level. So Sebastian Vettel could absolutely do it because I think everyone in this world rates Sebastian, Sebastian Vettel very highly. He went through his time where he was the villain of the entire grid, where Max Verstappen is now winning everything and just being the guy to beat. Fernando Alonso had it for a bit. Lewis Hamilton absolutely had it for a bit. Michael Schumacher had it for a bit. You know, all these drivers do have their times. They're world champions for a reason. They have multiple time world champions for a reason. But why would Vettel come back? And how long would he come back for, right? Because that's also a big question with this. Because Mercedes does have a junior driver that they are putting a lot of time into. Kimi Antonelli is the future for Mercedes. And that's what Mercedes is trying to make happen. So why would they go for a four-time world champion? Well, I think there are three reasons. The first reason, it's a German driver, and they would like to have a German driver again in the sport and in their team. For a German team, that's very important to have. Second would be because they want someone who is capable. Now, nobody argues that Sebastian Vettel is not, capable, not a capable pair of hands. He is partially, at least 50%, the reason why... 2023 Aston Martin was as good as it was. Because without Sebastian Vettel's feedback, that car is not going to have that development. Absolutely. That's not... It's, it, there's no way. Because let's be fair. Let's be fair. No shade being thrown at, at Lance Stroll, but I don't think Lance Stroll had much to say about the car. He is barely performing with the car. If he did give feedback, then he's really not performing well, and he doesn't understand his own driving style. Sebastian Vettel is not that kind of person, right? And the third reason is that they would want someone who would be willing to leave for the younger generation. Mercedes would want a driver in their ranks right now to replace Lewis, the outgoing Lewis Hamilton who would be willing to take a one plus one deal, which is what, the, what they were trying to offer Lewis Hamilton. Or what they offered Lewis Hamilton, which Hamilton took at the end of, near the end of last season. If Kimi Antonelli in F2 in 2024 performs amazingly and he shows that he is capable of performing and hit the ground running when especially when formula 2 has new regulations so all the drivers in formula f2 will have a clean slate basically they have no knowledge of the car so with that in mind if Kimi Antonelli can perform 
to the level that they expected from him, they will be like, okay, we can actually put him in for 2026, right? Because they want to give him two seasons there. But any other driver that will come into the Mercedes fold will not be willing to go for a one plus one deal. They will want to go for a two plus one deal or something like that, you know, to see, to secure themselves for at least two years. A multi-year deal where you have your team has an option to set, cut you off after one year is not a multi-year deal, right? So I think those are the reasons why Vettel would be a safe choice in this scenario because no other driver would be willing to go for just a one-year deal except for the other driver that is being considered, which is Fernando Alonso. Now, I, in my opinion, Fernando Alonso is the most out-there prediction option for Mercedes to choose from. Why? Because of Fernando Alonso himself. Fernando Alonso has built Aston Martin around himself, which means that Fernando Alonso needs this team to do well, and he, this was probably going to be his last switch ever. Now, would he be willing to go to a team that is a, was underperforming compared to Aston Martin for the, at least the first few races of the season in 2023, and who is going to a new philosophy, and cannot afford to botch, a, uh, botch their strategies anymore, from a team that is showing an upward trajectory, that has just gotten his wind tunnel running, his new facilities on, up and working, would he risk that? And knowing for the fact that he probably has a secured contract with Aston Martin until the end of 2026, at the very least. Because let's be honest, Fernando Alonso's performance in 2023 alone is enough to warrant him a seat in Formula 1. Absolutely. Now, the opposite side of the spectrum is, why would he leave Aston Martin? I mean, legacy, right? These drivers want a legacy for themselves. They want to go to a team where they can be like, I went to this team as an as a newcomer, and beat the guy that was there. To what extent um, is Fernando Alonso a better driver than George Russell? I don't know. I feel they're about equal. Just, I think Fernando Alonso's highs are better than George Russell's highs in terms of peak, peak performance. And the consistency of peak performance is better with Fernando Alonso. I would say if Fernando Alonso was doing his peak performance and George Russell was doing peak performance, they would be going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But here's the thing. Fernando Alonso can perform more consistently because of his experience. It just, let's face it, he, the guy has 21 years in Formula 1. No other driver has had that longevity at the moment. Lewis Hamilton is getting close, but even him, he's not that far in his career. So, I don't see Fernando Alonso genuinely considering it, but I would not be surprised if you went there because let's face it, Fernando Alonso would want to go from a Mercedes engine powered car to a Mercedes powered car. I mean, going to a works team is considered always the best option because that, that's where you get the best upgrades coming. But the cost cap does, does negate the whole entire developmental factor. Aston Martin, if they can get the, uh, a handle on their upgrades, which they did not have in 2023, they're going to make massive progress, and arguably, I think Aston Martin might be the better car compared to Mercedes. That would make two cars, which are customer teams, two Mercedes have better cars than Mercedes themselves. Because let's not forget, McLaren is up there. McLaren was beating Mercedes every race in the second half of the season, almost every race. And Aston Martin was doing, uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mercedes in uh, the, the other section, in, in the first half kind of first half till, till Canada. So those are my thoughts. Personally, I would love to see Sebastian Vettel back into Formula One, even if it's for just one season. He did say in the past that he would come, he would be willing to come back for one season. But I honestly, I am, would more back Sebastian Vettel than Fernando Alonso. I just think that that's the better option in this scenario. But let me what you guys, let, whoa, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And who, who do you think is going to go to Mercedes? Also, like, subscribe for more content like this, more predictions, more waffle from my side. And 
quizá... Ay, 